Hey everyone, welcome to the fourth and final episode in the series where we are putting together the Phoenix Model 20CC0. If this is the first episode you've seen, there were three before this. The first one being the complete unboxing. The second episode is everything in the wings, the ailerons, flaps, and landing gear. And the third one, everything in the tail. And in this one is everything in the front of the airplane, the cowl, the exhaust stacks, and the dummy radial. Before we get started, I wanted to point you to everything down in the description below. Not only am I citing all of my historical references, tools and setup, etc., etc., but probably more importantly, since you're here for an RC model, are all of the forum threads related to this plane, especially the RC Groups thread, which was started by a good friend of mine, LDM. Over the years, we've kind of found each other in, in a bunch of different forums, and we tend to like the same planes, and in this case, it's no different. We both like zero. So I urge you to go check out those forum threads below. So before we get started, one last time, we're gonna head back down to Dayton, Ohio and see the real Model 21 and talk a little bit about the differences, the exhaust stack between the 21, 32, and 52, and then we'll head over to the bench and we'll get to work. Here are some of the last live images of the real Model 21 down in Dayton. And as we look at the cowl here for comparison, I wanted to talk about, this is the shot here. You see the differences between our model and this Model 21. There's a combined single exhaust at the bottom of the cowl, and there's no supercharger inlet at the top of the front of the cowl. That's how we know that our model is a Model 52. As we will be adding the antenna, I just wanted to give a shot of the cockpit and the antenna and just this nice comparison shot of this writing on the side by the tail on the real 21 and on our model. So we're going to mount the cowl. The first thing is get these exhaust stacks and the holes are drilled, but I don't think you're gonna be able to use both holes and able to orient these so the cowl fits. I really was only able to use one of these and rotate these and kind of do a, a trial and error to get the cowl to fit. And word to the wise, do not use some blue painter's tape on these stacks because the, they obviously were not primered and the gold paint comes off pretty easily. Here's the other side, and yes, it's correct. Uh, there are seven exhausts and it might look weird. Why is there not eight? But no, in fact, uh, there is only seven. And just so you're aware, four of these stacks are exactly the same and the top two are different. And um, you can use these shots to see which one goes on which side. So in the unboxing video, I kind of found these in a bag and said, oh, these are probably engine mount pieces. No, these are the mounts for the cowl. And I'm zoomed in here because the two bottom ones, you will need to carve out a little space so they fit along the motor box. This is a perfect example for some quick drying epoxy. So I'm gonna dab some Scotch weld uh, to get these in here. And that's fine because we're gonna be securing them with fasteners. So really quick epoxy is totally fine right here. So these go on, these have two screws each. No problem with the alignment. There are indents, these go on very nice and easy. The hardest part is, is trimming the bottom two so they fit along the corners of the motor box.
Next up, we have the dummy radial. I'm not an artist, and this isn't my strong point, but I just wanted to kind of show you how I painted these. Got some of the cylinders, some dark gray, some light gray. Got some olive drab. Did some black around the ring and uh, finished it up with some black wash. So I needed to trim this quite a bit more after this, but just kind of wanted to show you some of your options uh, to paint this dummy radial. And I was just messing around. Here's a cool shot through the motor box uh, down through the fuselage. So the dummy radial attaches to the front of the cowl uh, with some epoxy or I used silicone, but now we have that attached and I just wanted to put this on to show you how these fins align with those stacks and how the cowl fits over those four black plastic mounts. There's four mount screws, so I took four screws and painted the heads black so they blend in nice. And as is customary traditional, let's head out to the backyard and see where we are right now. Here's the cowl mounted, you see the stacks, we have the screws. Oh, we forgot one thing, that antenna. That antenna just pressure fits up from the bottom of the canopy. Not the greatest thing, but uh, it actually fits pretty nicely and it's snug so you can just put some epoxy around them to keep them in place. So now let's head back and look at that canopy and that antenna. And there is this beautiful shot of the zero. We got the antenna going, probably could paint that a different color if you wanted to, that's all right. Here it is with a uh, Azor 1710 three blade prop. And that is not the stock spinner. That is a two and a half inch aluminum Miracle three blade spinner that I had to chop up pretty hard to get off. The kit comes with a plastic spinner, which you will more than likely have to cut because the openings are not that big. Really happy with this shot here. Was playing around with frame rate and shutter speed and got this pseudo slow motion effect. This is this is full motion. You'll see the wind blow the bush behind here. And it's just uh, got lucky with that shutter speed and looked pretty cool, so I hit record. In the wing episode, I talked briefly about the nav lights and how I painted the inside transparent colors. So I have now found some cheap LEDs. I'll have a link to those in the show notes and trim these up and epoxy these on, ran the wires to the LEDs, and this is what they look like. Just wanted to give you some shots of how these nav lights ended up. So now we have pretty much, we're ready to go. We're 99% done. And this is the end of this four part series of putting this ARF together. I just wanted to show you guys what comes in the box, how it goes together. And now it's kind of up to you to choose your own adventure. Do you want to clean up the back of that cowl there? Do you want to clean up those exhaust stacks? Do you want to dirty them up a little bit? Do you want to change that pilot? Do you want to, do you want to paint the, the struts black to match the real thing? I'm going to probably do a few things here and there, but the next video will be an overview of the motor and power system I went with, how I uh, rearranged the insides, and of course, a flight video. So everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a great time playing with some of my new camera toys and learning how to get some of these really cool shots like this slow motion shot right here yeah, is really pretty cool. So I'm having fun with these. I'm hoping some, some people go to tower, see that Phoenix zero and say, I wish there was some video about it. Search for YouTube, find this and see this come out of the box and come together and eventually fly. So everyone, thanks again. Stay tuned for the next plane. It's coming in a few weeks and we'll go from there. Talk to you soon. Thank you.